Okay, so we've done the origin of the universe. We did the origin of stars. We've done the origin of the solar system. So the next thing is we want to continue now with talking about the origin of the Earth. So before we can do that, we need to go back to chemistry and talk about what density is. So density is going to be abbreviated with a Greek letter called rho, as in row, row, row your boat. So I know it looks like a P, but that's called the, that's the Greek letter rho, and it's the abbreviation for density. And density is how compact an object is. So it depends on the mass of the object, m, but it also depends on the volume of the object. So let's, uh, let me write out the formula here, that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Okay, and now let's say that I take a piece of paper and I wad it up into a bowl. Well, can you see that piece of paper? What color is it? Yes, it's the color blue. All right, so I've got a wad of paper here and it has a certain volume, V. Now, it also has a certain mass. So I could take this ball and I could put it on a scale and I could figure out how many grams it is. So that would be its mass. Now, what would happen if I took this ball and I squeezed it and so I make the ball even smaller? What happens to its density? So did the mass change? No, the M is the same. But what happened was that, so the M is the same, but the V got smaller. Okay, so if the V gets smaller and it's in the bottom part of the formula, then what happens is that the density increases. So density not only depends on the mass of an object, but it also depends on its volume. Now the main thing I want you to get out of this is more dense things sink into less dense things. So if you've got a glass of water and you take a rock and you put it in there, where does the rock go? The rock goes to the bottom of the glass of water because in general, rock has a higher density than what water does. Now on the other hand, take an ice cube, put it into the water, what happens to the ice cube? It floats. So the reason why the ice cube floats is its density is less than the density of water. So what has this got to do with the formation of the Earth? So the Earth, when it initially formed, had all sorts of different kinds of materials inside of it. It had heavy materials like iron, and it had not so heavy materials inside of it. But originally, they were all uniformly distributed inside the Earth. The heavier materials, the more dense materials, went to the core. So in particular, iron and nickel. So the iron and nickel went to the center of the Earth, and then the lighter materials floated up to the surface to make the crust of the Earth. So this is called differentiation, the process by which you, be, you start with something that's all uniform and then it separates because of density differences. So a classic example of this is uh, Italian dressing. So with Italian dressing, it's got the oil, it's got the water, it's got the chunks of uh, tomato and bacon in it. So if you take the bottle and you shake it up, then all of those materials are evenly distributed. But if you put it on the, sink, on the counter somewhere and you leave it there for five minutes, then what you notice is the tomatoes and the other chunky materials go to the bottom of the container and that the oil goes up to the surface. So that because of differences in density, the materials separate and so did the earth. So that explains why the Earth has an iron nickel core is because it's made of very dense materials. And then the lighter materials went up to the, the surface to form a crust. Um, if you've ever watched somebody 
um, take um, liquid uh, molten iron and they pour it into a mold. Have you ever noticed that there's some stuff that kind of floats on the top of the iron? And that's called dross. And then what they normally do is they scrape that off because that's impurities that have floated up to the surface. That's what the cr crust of the earth is. So it's kind of like a scum that formed on the surface of the earth. So tell your parents that, that you live on the scum of the earth. Okay. Let's take a break, and when we come back, we'll talk about the origin of the moon. <laughs> 